What's going on guys? It's your boy Skids and today we're going to be showing you how to open up the Pack-a-Punch on the new Dead of the Night map on Black Ops 4 Zombies. So there's going to be a couple steps here for you guys. I'm going to make this short, sweet, and to the point. Now first step is going to be making your way across the map and activating that Sentinel Artifact. So whether you spawn on the right or the left side of this area right here, it's just going to be simply buying these first two doors. Now, obviously, I am on a modified game right now so that I can have higher point totals, but that's just so I can show you guys how to do this. So run up, activate the Sentinel Artifact. It's going to send beams of energy throughout the map, and it's also going to open up this door right here for you, which is going to be a fast travel that will be activated later, as well as the Danu perk. So the next step is going to be to complete a series of three challenges. Now these challenges are going to be activated by finding stones located inside of vases. The vases are going to look like this. Uh, this one does not have the stone inside of it because there was no smoke coming out of it. But if you don't see any smoke, you can knife it anyway. Right here is the smoke that I am talking about. See it's green. So what you're going to do, you're going to come up and knife it so that you can open up this stone. Now to power up the stone, you're going to need to get four zombie kills around it. And once it's powered up, you will be able to activate the stone and start the challenge. There's going to be three of these scattered throughout the map. I will show you the locations after I've completed this step right here. But right here, you will see beams of zombie energy, or whatever you want to call it, go into this stone right here. We need our last one right here. There's four. And we're going to gaze into the stone and start our first challenge. So right here is a clock. There are three challenges that can be presented through uh, each of the stones. There is a clock, there is a perk, and there is a painting. So this first one's a clock and there are three locations where there are clocks throughout the map. Right here is the first one and this is the one that we're going to want to activate but I will not activate it yet. I'll show you guys where the other two are first. First one's up here in the billiards room. The next one is going to be down, if I can find the right way, into the main hall, down the grand staircase, around this main hall and this is the second one right here and then the third one is going to be in the dining hall area which is going to be through the main hall through the east hallway and here you are in the dining room where you will find your third clock positioning so let's go back and finish out this first clock challenge for you guys which again is going to be up the grand staircase and to the right into the west wing and billiards room area so as shown earlier you walk up to this clock hold square to set the clock and it's going to begin this circular challenge right here where you're going to need to stand inside of this circle and as you're doing this you'll notice that different sections are disappearing from the ground the different numbers and roman numerals are going away and this will only happen again if you are inside of the circle if you leave the circle your progress stops the smoke around the area goes away as you can see i did here step right back in though the smoke comes back your progress resumes and right now we're finishing up with eight we will get nine ten eleven and twelve and then as soon as this is complete you will see a tuning fork be given to you by this clock. After you complete each of these three challenges, it will grant you a tuning fork, and you need to unlock the three tuning forks located throughout the map. So right there, guys, is the clock challenge, and that one is done. So the second area where you want to go is to the wine cellar. And to find the wine cellar, you're going to go in the main hall. I like to go this way, down into the left. It's going to be this door right here and bring you on your way down. Again, you can see this vase right here. No smoke coming out of it, but just to be sure, let's knife it and nothing came out of it. Right here is the one with blue smoke coming out of it. So we'll knife it. We'll try and get four zombie kills real quick here so we can get our zombie spirits into the stone and we can continue on to the next challenge. So we're going to gaze into the stone now that it's fired up and right here you're going to see is the Zeus Tower. So we got to go find the Zeus Tower perk which can be a little bit tricky sometimes because one thing about this map is that the perks do rotate. So I will show you the locations where we can find the Zeus Tower and one of those is going to be uh, through the dining hall and out into uh, the courtyard. So we're going to run right this way through the dining hall like I showed you guys earlier, open up this door into the greenhouse terrace. One location that it could be is right down this way to the right. You can see that's where the raw tower spawned, so it's not going to be there this time. 
So another location where the perk might spawn is through the main hall, out this way, back through the north atrium. We're going to want to buy this door right here. And right here is a perk spawn, which right now is Odin, but not the perk we are looking for. Alright guys, and the other location where this perk might spawn is going to go in through the cemetery path. You're going to go up this way to the right and over to the left. Right back this way and around, and it is going to be right back here. Now, I accidentally activated it earlier while I was looking for it, but you're going to walk inside this area, and you're going to be near this Zeus Tower. It's going to activate the second challenge, which are going to be the Screamer Zombies. I relate them similar to the guys in Transit, except you can see them this time. But they're going to come spawn in, try to attack you. All you have to do is hold your ground and kill them. Be sure to stay inside this area, if at all possible. It speeds up the process a lot more. But, like I said, just hold your ground, get a good gun, and kill them. There should only be about five to seven, I would imagine. I haven't counted specifically, but we'll kill this guy. And there are other zombies that do spawn in at this same time. But there's the last one right there, and you see it drops the tuning fork once I have completed that challenge. So that's the second one right there, guys, and I will show you where to find the third and final tuning fork. Yeah, and that's going to be in and around this bedroom area. So, nothing here nothing here but here it is right here you see the purple smoke coming out of it so we're gonna open that up kill some of these zombies again it's gonna take four zombies to finish it off there's three and now we have four it gets specially activated we're gonna gaze into the stone and it looks like there is a man and a woman so those kinds uh, if it looks two-dimensional like that it's gonna be a painting that's scattered around the map so I'll show you a couple areas that I've found uh, paintings to be in, but my advice right now is to just look around the walls inside uh, because there's plenty of paintings around this area. This is one that has spawned in for me. This is a second one right here in the music room where the lady's hands appear to be tied up due to the scratches. That's a second area. Alright guys, and the third location is going to be right here in between the west balcony and the smoking room. You're going to see, walk up to it, hold square to reveal. The painting changes and a ghost appears out of the painting. Now you're going to want to follow this ghost as she will take you to your location. Uh, she will not take damage from zombies, but you still will, obviously, so be sure to uh, keep a lookout for that. Sometimes she cuts through objects, and if that happens, don't worry, just go around the area where she cuts through too. If you lose her, go back to the last location in which you saw her, and she will be there waiting for you. So, right here's an example. She goes right up there. She's going to be waiting for me once I go up and around. I'm going to have to buy this area, but she is right here waiting for me. So, sometimes, right here, see I don't have the door activated. She still goes right through the door. You're just going to have to buy it and keep going. But, if you have to go get points and come back, she will still be uh, right about this area waiting for you, I would imagine. So, what's going to happen here is she's going to come up and bring you to an object. Now you don't have to do any challenges here, she's just going to open it up for you. Right here it is this gravestone. Right here you can see I got my second tuning fork. Now once you have all three tuning forks, you're going to want to make your way down to the main hall area and to the back side through the north atrium and out this way. You're going to notice this big mass out here. Walk up to it, hold square to use a tuning fork and it will use all three tuning forks to open up different parts right here for you. There's one, there's two, and now there's three. We're almost to Pack-A-Punch, guys. It's just going to be right through this area. However, one thing you're going to notice as the spirits arise, there's a werewolf that hops in around this area. There's going to be a couple weapon spawns uh, on the way to Pack-A-Punch if you need a stronger gun. But be aware of this werewolf as you make your way through to Pack-A-Punch. So, guys, once you've made your way through the forest back to the Pack-A-Punch, you have gotten it for yourself. Just be sure to kill that werewolf, take care of him. Hopefully, you guys don't die from that. But now you have unlocked this fast travel into the north atrium and the fast travel that you were op originally opened up back here when you uh, summon the artifact is now open to the forest so there you guys have it that is the quick and easy guide to opening pack a punch on the new dead of the night map hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you did if it helps you out in any way shape or form and subscribe if you're new. I'll be posting more tips and tricks videos as we discover more for you guys. But until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Yeah. Inspire you is what I'm trying to do. Man, I came a long way from a couple views. It don't matter about your size of shoes or what you're going through. If I could do it, you could do it too.